How far is it to a road trip to vacation spots from right here in the Midlands of South Carolina? That's right. One of the things my wife and I love to do is go on vacation and travel. And I'm not talking about hopping on a plane and heading out. Well, yes, we love to do that. We also love those road trips, getting on the road and driving somewhere within a day. And so that's why in this video, I'm going to tell you how far it is from the Midlands of South Carolina to a lot of our favorite places. Everywhere from Panama City to Nashville, Tennessee, up to Washington, D.C., to the beaches of the Carolinas, you name it. So let's get started. And for those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Brandon. Not only am I a transplant here to South Carolina, but I'm a local real estate agent as well, covering the Midlands of South Carolina, Lexington, Columbia, and Lake Murray. And I put videos out every single week teaching you about the area to see if it's right for you. So don't forget to click that subscribe button, but let's get started with the video. All right, so as I said, my wife and I love to take road trip places, and all these are places that we have actually driven to. And the last two will kind of be bonuses because it's not something I would recommend doing in a day drive, but we did it, so I'm still gonna throw it in there. So I'm gonna get started with first, right here in South Carolina, what is close to us? How far does it take to get to the beaches, to the mountains, you name it. Then I'm gonna head down south, all the way down to Florida, and then move up north. So again, let's get started with South Carolina. And to give you an idea of how I figured this out, I went on Google Maps and I searched from our office, which is in downtown Lexington. And I searched late at night. That way there was no traffic or anything like that. So of course, obviously time's gonna be different depending on how many stops you take, if there's traffic, things like that. But at least that way you can kind of see how many miles it is and what the average distance is and then you can kind of add in how long it takes you. Maybe you're a speeder and you'll get there faster than we did. All right, so like I said, we're gonna start here locally right here in South Carolina. Charleston, South Carolina, it's gonna be the closest beach to us. Obviously there's a couple beaches once you get to Charleston, you can head up to Isle Palms, one of our favorite beaches, or down to Folly Beach, you name it. But to Charleston, 121 miles, just under two hours. Now, before we tackle any of the other beaches, let's talk about Greenville, because they get a lot of questions about how far we are from Greenville. And from us, it is 113 miles, takes about an hour and 50 minutes to get to. All right, so let's head back to the beach, one of my favorite places. So Myrtle Beach, another favorite vacation spot. 170 miles takes about two hours and 45 minutes. Next, we'll head south down the beach, Hilton Head, another really awesome beach to head to. 166 miles takes you about two hours and 40 minutes. And so as I said, we're gonna continue heading south. We're gonna next head to Georgia. We're gonna go down to Savannah. Savannah is another beautiful place if you haven't visited. Interesting enough, it's 165 miles, almost the same as Hilton Head. Takes you about two hours and 30 minutes. They're right around the corner from each other. However, Hilton Head, you kinda gotta cut in a little ways to get actually down to Hilton Head off the main road. Savannah is kinda more of a straight shot. Next is Atlanta, and one of the reasons we've driven to Atlanta a lot is the airport in Atlanta. We could get cheap direct flights back to California to visit family out of Atlanta. 199 miles takes two hours and 50 minutes. Yes, there are closer airports, and I'll do another entire video about local airports, but it is something we've done a couple times. Sorry, technical difficulties with the new backdrop if you didn't notice the change. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna continue moving south to Florida. So one of the first places that you hit when you hit Florida is gonna be St. Augustine Beach. Apparently from The Bachelor or The Bachelorette. I don't know, you'd have to ask my wife on that one. But that And that is gonna be 329 miles, takes about four hours and 50 minutes to get there. Next is gonna be Orlando which is gonna be 436 miles, takes about six hours and 10 minutes to get there. As we keep going down south, we're gonna end at Fort Lauderdale. 621 miles, eight hours and 30 minutes. Last time we had down there was to catch a cruise out of Fort Lauderdale. Now, let's head up to the Panhandle, one of our favorite beaches, Panama City Beach, Destin Beach. That's gonna be approximately 500 miles, takes you about seven hours and 30 minutes to get there. 
All right, so staying down south, the next place we're gonna talk about is New Orleans. 663 miles, takes you about nine hours and 15 minutes to get there. All right, now that we've gone south, it's time to head north. And we're actually gonna start with our neighbor in the Carolinas, North Carolina. So the first destination we're gonna talk about is Charlotte. 110 miles away, about an hour and 40 minutes. Again, another airport right there in Charlotte. Next, we're gonna talk about Asheville. Cool little town if you've never been there. 168 miles away, takes you about two hours and 30 minutes to get to. And wrapping up North Carolina, the Outer Banks. Paradise on Earth. Yes, while the show was primarily filmed in South Carolina, Outer Banks is a cool little spot if you've never been there. 417 miles away, takes you about six hours and seven minutes. All right, as we continue with the North journey, we head a little west to Tennessee. First, we're gonna talk about Pigeon Ford in Gatlinburg. Another great place to visit if you haven't been. It's gonna be about 252 miles away. Takes you about four hours and three minutes to get to there. And finishing up in Tennessee, another place I like to call Southern Vegas, Nashville, Tennessee. About 450 miles away. Takes you about six hours and 20 minutes to get there. All right, as we continue to trek up north, Washington, D.C. 494 miles, takes you about seven hours to get there. Now, this is the only one I actually haven't driven to. I've only flown New York, but I bring it up because I talk to a lot of you that are coming down from New York. So how far does it take to get to and from New York? What it tells me is 719 miles, which says it takes about 10 hours and 30 minutes. All of you that have driven it know, of course, with stops, rest, gas, food, takes a bit longer than that, but at least now you know. And the bonus ones, these are ones we have driven to. Again, I do not recommend because they were long drives. First, the Ozarks in Missouri. Yes, of course, if you've watched the series, it's like, hey, let's go check this place out. So we went there one Christmas, cool little spot. Definitely is a summer tourist town, not as many people in the winter, but still a cool little spot. 948 miles away, says it takes 13 hours and 30 minutes. I know it took us longer than that, obviously with kids in the car, stops, things like that. And the last one, and the most adventurous trip we have driven outside of driving across the country a couple times, to Austin, Texas. Yes, we drove it in one day, 1,121 miles, 16 hours is what it says, but I know it took over 20 hours when we actually drove it. So again, right here in the Midlands of South Carolina, there's tons of things to do, but if you're like us and you love to travel, now you know all the places that you can hop in your car and drive to in a day. There are plenty of others out there, don't get me wrong. We continue to explore and travel, but I wanted to hit the ones that we have already hit, we have already done, so I can tell you that I've done it too, so so can you. It's something that we've done. There's only one phone call that you need to make. In Columbia, Brandon Guerin is a real estate agent dedicated to helping families relocating to South Carolina. Contact the agent I trust in Lexington and all of the Midlands, Brandon Guerin, and visit him online at brandongarin.com.